are saying goodbye to Larnaca. We didn't show you much. We actually showed you Ayanapa and Cape Greco, but we've been staying here three days in Larnaca. It is very nice hotel, Hotel Opera, that we can actually recommend. Yes. It's a good location right next to Lazarus Church that you have there. Show me something beautiful. Right there you just go a little bit to the beach and to the promenade and very close to the castle so it's a perfect location. Now we are heading to ancient Kurion. You can see it's the left side of the street that you're driving. It might be a little bit confusing and uh, challenging but not for this guy. He's very 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 smart and can handle everything. Even me. Oof. Yeah. So we just arrived to ancient Kurion and we're gonna start our trip. For the start you get these kind of maps with the whole site so you can visit. The ticket costs four euro fifty per person. Super cheap. So it costs us nine euro for two people with the parking around so you can just go up and uh, probably no. recommend visiting out of season yeah it's beautiful weather today we yeah. feel like it's summertime for us so we are approaching Eustolio's house so it was built in its initial phase during the early Roman period and was remodeled to a great extent during the third and fourth century before the Christ right. now if you think that it was 5,000 years ago and nowadays they build a house and it just collapses and they survived so many years, that's pretty impressive, right? Mm. Yeah. View <laughs> from the house, which is very... This is amazing view. So we are getting to the theater who was built, which was built in the second century BC. So it's very old. <laughs> So that was a Roman private house, earthquake house is the name. The building was constructed during the first or early second century AD and remodeled in fourth century. I think it looks like because of the this is a grinder for wheat or for something because you can put the wheat and you have the top stone and you grind it and you have flour. There was probably columns all over the place, yeah. you see, everywhere. So it was like that at as high, yeah. the whole building. But you cannot go there. That's definitely a prison. Okay. But there is the stones inside, maybe they put it inside so it not collapses. And look at these beautiful columns. So much work. Very nice, everywhere you have uh, information. So now we are getting to the Agora. So here, be, babe, is uh, Apoditerea and it was one of the three rooms uh, designed for dressing and undressing to enter the public, the baths. I would think this would be the pool. Yeah, and this also. Yeah. In here you can see pretty big piece of the floor. <laughs> so you can imagine the whole floor was like this. It's very beautiful. That would be we would like something like that at home. <laughs> <laughs> they say uh, this is a cold bath and it's a steam bath. Yeah. So they built it up and they made a fire underneath to boil the water. Maybe. So it's a steam bath. We are getting to Gladiator's house. In the mosaics you have a soldiers fighting. You have to see this. They're all made by little stones, different colors. There is a storm in Sortland, by the way. Yes. Storm. It's uh, uh, switching from day to day between snowstorm and uh, rainstorm. So 
We are uh, sending pi pictures from here to the family in <laughs> Norway to annoy them a little bit. Not just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. We pretty much finished with this uh, beautiful place, ancient Kurian in Cyprus. Totally recommend for you to visit. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time and don't forget to leave comment and likes and subscribe our channel. Bye bye. <laughs>